Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I'm going to talk to you about an electrical draw. Uh, is your battery dead when you come out to your bug in the morning or when you want to go driving and you go turn the key and the battery is dead and you don't understand, you were driving yesterday, everything was fine. Maybe you left your dome light on, maybe the radio was left on, um, or maybe your lights were left on, these are the most obvious things. Uh, but if all those things check out and we're off and you still have a draw somewhere and the battery is still dying, it could be one or two things. Either the battery is bad, you got to change your battery, or yes, you have an electrical draw. So I'm going to show you how to check uh, your Beetle or your Volkswagen, any Volkswagen, if there is an electrical draw coming from the car uh, still to drain the battery. It's a pretty quick and easy tip. You're going to get yourself a little test light like this. Hopefully you have a traditional bulb in there as opposed to the newer ones that maybe have an LED bulb. They're a little too sensitive, those LED bulbs. They come on. Uh, really with nothing <laughs> sometimes so uh, get one with a traditional bulb if you can um, if not you can always make a jumper wire to a small you know a blinker bulb or something and touch the wire to the battery but I'll show you how to do that all right let's get to it okay so obviously I took out the back seat uh, it's easy access to the battery and uh, what you see here is a brand new battery that we have in here and we are checking out the electrical system and we want to know where if the car has a draw so what we did, as you see, I have my ground strap here, right? Brand new ground strap. Okay, I have it, this alligator clip on one end of the test light bulb. Okay, so here's our little test light, right? So you get the alligator clip, put it on here. Now you wanna disconnect your ground strap. Just take that off for now. Put it to the side. Now get your test light and touch the negative on the battery. You see, our light comes on. So that means we have some form of an electrical draw. The key is off. Something is still drawing from the bug, the, the battery. Okay, so something is on. Some, maybe wires are crossed or something like that. So this is how you do this, okay? You just want to take off your ground connector to the battery and put the alligator clip to the to the uh, to the ground strap or to a ground on the car okay and then test that and see the light comes on we want this light to not come on when i touch this to the battery negative here so let's see so as we come here in the trunk area of the beetle uh, this is an oval window beetle so the the wire connections here are pretty simple the fuse box area is pretty simple, of course. It's only four fuses, as opposed to the later bugs that had uh, maybe eight to 10. Um, so, you know, generally speaking, uh, you know, you wanna get a separate person, uh, a second person to help you out, you know, maybe your dad, a friend or something. And that person stays inside the car with the test light on. And what I first like to do is go through my fuses here and I start taking out the fuses one by one. And once the light goes off, then you can kind of narrow it down. Of course, you want to print out your bug schematics so you understand you know, what wires are going to where. Of course, there's a new wiring harness here. So um, it, uh, usually when you get a new uh, wiring harness, they give you a, a schematic. Uh, so I just start unplugging the fuses. And for the most part, when you get to the taillight area, it's really not that. It's usually the areas that have the wiper motors connected for juice. Uh, maybe your your hot lines that go to your starter, your battery, you know, your regulator, something like that is usually what draws. If everything else, like I said, checks out with your dome light and and uh, your lights and your radio, uh, radio is very common uh, to have a draw. Sometimes, you know, your power for your radio is on a constant uh, uh, terminal, so you want to make sure you're not on constant juice. It's got to be able to shut off with uh, the key off so that's what I start doing and for the most part like what's very common is with the wiper motor you know a lot of times the wires the power to your wiper and the black and purple wire which is the switch wire that comes from your your switch on your dash your wiper switch they are reversed so sometimes if you reverse those and change those around that usually gets rid of the problem I've had that issue before 
So um, it just takes a lot of finagling. Sometimes you gotta, you know, <laughs> set an afternoon aside to find out where this draw is coming from. Later bugs are a little more uh, involved with wires. Uh, so just make sure you have a schematic. I do recommend getting the Bug Me video DVD series on wiring. Uh, that is a great series on, uh, on that. And they break down so many of the little technical problems that we run into when it comes to wiring and wiring your bug in general. So. Uh, that's that tip for today guys uh, Chris at ClassicVWBugs.com uh, that's how you know you have a draw to your battery it's just a simple test light and um, that's it you have any questions uh, pop me an email Chris at ClassicVWBugs.com or visit my website www.ClassicVWBugs.com take care